guys, it's Kyle here, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some thumbnails and what different ways you can make thumbnails. So, for example, there's a few different ways you can do thumbnails, and the first way is if you're playing a game, like if I play Clash Royale, all you have to do is you take a little screenshot of the battle or whatever you were just doing, so you would go into the battle you just did that is going to be in the video and you would take a screenshot of this and at whatever part you want and you would basically use this picture as your background to your thumbnail and if you didn't want to use that you could also use a different basically all I've done is typed in simple 1280 by 720 backgrounds and you find all these backgrounds right here that are just you can just save easily say you wanted this one you just save this to your phone and then you go and take it into the editing app you're going to use to make your thumbnail i'll get to that in a second but what we're going to do right now is we're going to use some things like say you wanted a flash royale king in your uh, in your thumbnail so you would type in clash royale king not Kong, king and then you type in PNG so that way it makes the background transparent so basically you click on it and as you can see you wait for it it focuses there's the the little square white and gray background that means it's, there's no background or you'd save that just like you saved your other picture you can do this with anything. You can do, like, you can get a magical chest. You can get a giant chest. Like, giant chest. PN, oops, PNG. And then you would search that up, and a giant chest PNG would pop up. Whatever one you wanted, you go ahead and save it. And then you go into your editing app. And what we're going to use for this is, Pixar is right here. You can also use Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab you can basically you what I use that for is I use that for 3d text so basically um, you just go ahead and go over to 3d text you can make a 3d text and you can add it save it and add it to your thumbnail if you want another video on that I'll show you guys how to use or how to make 3d text for your thumbnails or your banners with that said though guys we're gonna jump into Pixar right here up at the top click on that you hit the little plus button down here in the bottom right and you go ahead and pick your background whatever background you want to use we'll just use this one just because it's the first one here so we're going to use that you can also if you want to resize it by clicking the tools button right here and then clicking resize and it, you can resize it it's already at 1287 20 so that's what we need and then you can also do things like add a photo like this you can add that king that you wanted and you can add him right here and you can even make it bigger like this and you can rotate them and move them and stuff like that whatever way you want to um, I'm just gonna put them right there and then you can you got all these features right here square fit is just it just does that um, you can play around with all these features the border and stuff you can mess around with that um, that's all extra stuff I'm not going to mess with right here in this video, but it's right there, like, I don't know, episode 1. And you just pick the font you want. I usually pick the font right here because it looks better. And then also you can add the color, which can be any color you want. Or you can put gradient color and then you can also put a texture on it but I'm not sh sure really exactly how the textures look but you can do whatever you want like I said it doesn't matter how you do it it's whatever you want to do I most of the time pick just simple colors and not not too big a deal um, but as you can see we're gonna mess with the thickness right here of the border make it that big and then that'll be it so for basically this thumbnail you can you can just put whatever add whatever images you want 
and then you can add whatever text you want doesn't matter you can look up any image you want to put in there and you can put it in also you can also put in some 3d text art like i said for the pixel lab app you can do the 3d text and then save it as an image and you can basically save that image and then you would just erase the background out of it because it would have a background on the 3d image so you would erase the back on pixel art by putting add image which is right there or add photo and you just add it like that and that's pretty much it guys like i said there's a bunch of different uh themes and features you can mess around with but that's all for you guys to, to mess around with i'm just showing you the easy simple ways to make a good thumbnail and how to make one or how i make one so with that said guys this, that's about it for this video i'm sorry if it's a short one i'm going to be coming out with more videos soon let me know if you guys want to see how to erase backgrounds out of images I'll, I'll do a video on that and also let me know if you guys want to see me make a video about how to get 3d text because i'll do that as well and yeah guys that'll be doing it for me, it's me all the time. Yeah.